Hello there. I'm Kelly. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. And, and I'm, I'm Jeff. And Jeffel's Le Sniff. Le Sniff. There it is. Le, Le Sniff. Ah, uh, Le, Le Sniff. Well, if, if I'm really lucky, it's not Le Corona. It is just Le Sniff. But I did have a Le Sniff this morning. So, you know, I'm glad we're in lockdown. I'm glad we can't leave the house. Ever. Oh, yeah. That's. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> it's, got, it's gotten very cold here. I assume it is, in fact, just a weather-induced listening. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. No, not at all. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to have a watch and commentate and give our thoughts and whatever on the Legacy of the Force fan film. Ooh, fine. Which fun is fun. Awesome. So before we head into it, it is an adaptation of part of Invincible, which is one of the books mm-hmm. in the series. And so you probably don't get the full context of it without reading it. Because, but I've never watched it without reading the book, and I can't do that now. So, erase <laughs> your memory. What's wrong with you? Just like, whoop, oh, I've never read this book. You'll be fine. Yeah. You have so, fine. yeah, we'll see how the opening crawl goes. Probably read it out and whatever. But well, yeah. I don't. I don't actually watch as many fan films as I should. Maybe I should start. That's something to do while we're locked down. I'll start watching yeah, fan true. films. And yeah. I don't, I haven't tended to watch a lot of fan films unless someone's like, oh, can you watch this when someone sends it to me? Or I find a really good one that goes, oh, well, this looks like it's really good, like this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I watched because I saw the trailer and whatever for it and went, oh, this looks really good. I want to check it out. Nice. That is promising. That is promising. So we may as well get it started. Go like see the Force fan film. Make sure I share audio. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Hey, yeah, what, what the the hey. there we go. Ah, uh, let's move. Oh, yeah. and that was full screen, right? Can I make this one? Yeah, that's filling up my screen now rather than just going, oh, you don't want to have it all in full screen view, right? No. So cool. Do you reckon we'll get, uh, do you reckon we'll get a, like a dodgy ad halfway through? Because that'll be fun. That'd kind of ruin everything. <laughs> I've got ad block on. No. <laughs> nice. Nice. So you don't get that sort of interruption. No, so, why would you? Oh, yeah, and this is why, oh, it's just, they're just called fan film, but it's a channel just for the Legacy of the Fourth fan film. Oh, look, look Sal's down there. under. We should watch Sal's Down Under as well. Oh, that can be our next video because that I have watched that one, and that one is really funny. It's got obviously nothing to do with the EU at all, but it's hilarious. It's hilarious just because of how Aussie it is. <laughs> oh, so Aussie. This is ridiculously, ridiculously so, Aussie. Let me know how the audio is on your end as well. So let's begin. No, For everyone who's wondering, I'm on a phone, so this is great. <laughs> 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 Never been better. Um, is there audio now? Because there know. should be audio. There's no audio coming through on my computer, so ah, good. It should have audio when the opening crawl starts. Should. Bang. There we go. I can't hear you very well. Hang on. That should be better. Yeah. I was going to say, just so it's, um, there's not too much interference for you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, they did the thing where they they re- had the original up with just Expanded Universe and they changed it to Legends to go with the official branding, I guess. That's disappointing. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just keep the original up. No. Oh. I guess maybe legally they had to do that. Uh, yeah, mm. people can pick this for themselves. It's big enough on the screen. It's good. But yeah, this gives a bit of context. I, I guess it'd give enough context for someone who hasn't read the book, but I'm not sure. Probs not enough. There's a lot of history there, but there is it gives you lot. something. But it gives you something. Yeah, there's a lot of history there, and just do that as well. 
it certainly gives you something to roll with anyway. Yeah, definitely. Something is a bit of context, at least. And if you've read the books, you'll know, okay, this is where we're up to in the story. Yeah. Pretty much towards the end, wasn't it? The end of a very long oh, that story. Did funny, didn't <laughs> what has happened? Funny stuff. Nothing. It's fine. I was. If I old tap out of it, it doesn't disappear. I was. Oh, <laughs> it helps. So it doesn't disappear. The visual effects I did here. Of course, they did it within their budget, but that's cool. Yeah. No, definitely. It's better than something I could do. Oh yeah, of course. I got no Sorry. idea about the animation side, and that was all animated, so it's pretty awesome. And it's interesting how they sort of have the similar music, but they changed it a bit, like the pitch and some of the combinations of the chords and that. Yep. Just enough luck to love it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good opening sequence, eh? That was nice. Yeah, nice. That shot was nice to so delve into it. Mm. Ooh, She's just being a badass and kicking their asses, of course. <laughs> this is going to leave a bruise, isn't it? Probably. Yep, that'll leave a bruise. Oh, definitely. Oh, Mandalorians. Woo! I guess they didn't have Boba Fett in here in some way, shape, or form because the Mandalorian armor would take a lot to create. What's player? The Noble JTC. Mm. Gracious. Even in victory. Hello, mm. Rita. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're they alive. They picked an actress that looks a lot like her, though, so that's good. If you want to call yeah, I think it's really cool. <sighs> And they picked an actor that looks a lot like Jason, no, Jason Solo would look quite a similar like that. I'm sorry about what happened on Nickel One, but I thought you were dead. Might have been nice if you checked. Could have put a bolt through my head. Spared me this. So, so far it seems pretty on par with the movie. Yeah, that's something I've found with this because of what you see I've watched it before is that it just basically adapts the scenes from the book, which is nice to see a fully faithful rendition of it. Mm. No, it's been a while since I have read the book, so I don't know if they changed some bits and pieces. I've got plastic claps, so to really hold them. They look like the plastic handcuffs you can just pull apart with bridge break. <laughs> no, they're very tough. You survive, I mean. You have to promise. Maybe. What did you have in mind? You have to warn Babuia. Moss took some of my blood. They've designed an killer for him. Someone watching this without reading the book. Who's Babuia? <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? Spoiler alert. Murder survives this. Yeah. You have to tell him that he deserved it. That he did this to me. Okay, I can do that too, Marta. But are you sure you want me to do that? So far, this feels very familiar. No. Mmm. It's almost like we've watched it before. <laughs> Your brother was right about one thing. He did this to me. I've, it definitely captures the feel of it as well, which is really cool. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like I've seen part of this or something before. Is that Jane is very familiar? Mm. Uh, she's also been around in EU social media groups and whatever, saying who should play Jane a solo, and I'm just like, someone already has, and she's actually really good in the role, I think. Mm. I'm not going to do that. Even if I don't make it, your grandfather. You know, it's not for that. 
When they wake up, I'm going to need a way to keep them quiet for you. Ah, uh -huh, morals. <laughs> yep, give her a blast up. Nice work. You're welcome. Yeah. Of course. Now, I'll tell you about your brother. He underestimates you. It's not really newsworthy. You underestimate my power. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to get the job done. He's delusional. He's convinced you couldn't have taken his arm. At least not alone. Oh yeah, Luke did give her a bath. Maybe Luke was there. Mm. Who wasn't? I was conscious most of the time, and I didn't see him. Now get out of here. You've only got an hour until my next meds are You don't have the force. No offense. I don't want to you know. me. <laughs> you like no, something's gone wrong with you. What am I in all of a sudden? What's going on here? That's weird. It should hmm. still be going through. May the force be with you, Luna. Sure, Jedi. Shoot straight and run fast. Haha, uh -huh. yes. Mandalorian words. Shoot straight and run fast. <laughs> oh, the poor thing that! <laughs> Even scratches it out, I think. Yeah. It's just like, yep, the force can amp my thumb up to just destroy a switch. <laughs> oh, that, that'll work. <laughs> I don't know if that line was actually verbalized before, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Next scene. Yeah, this is really cool. That's the Isolda actor. And then there's the Kaidas actor, which I think looks awesome. Because his face looks a bit like Mark Hamill's. <laughs> <laughs> And so I think that's really cool because, of course, relations. Jason Solo. I wonder why I haven't been interrogated yet. Obviously, you were saving all the fun for yourself. It's I like the lighting person. with the bars on his face. Darth Kytus. He lets him go, doesn't you he? Have been interrogated mm. yet has nothing to do with fun. Mm -hmm. We have other means of locating the Jedi base. So I saw no need to impinge on your dignity. How very considerate of you. Not what I expected from child stealing scum. Mm. I'm going to be honest, the sound is absolutely gone on my end. Well, nearly almost gone. Oh, that's weird. Hopefully, the stream catches it, or the recording. That's true. But I'll leave it that. Anyway, for people to watch it. So if they want to watch it, they can. Which is fine. Don't make mistakes. I'm sure you'll come to appreciate that time now if you will please come with me. I don't think so. Whatever I'll blame the Aussie person. internet. <laughs> 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 Nothing <laughs> better than Aussie internet. One of those mistakes yeah. <laughs> I just mentioned. Of course. He's just like, you think you're such a badass just I not having a cybernetic arm. <laughs> Very Death Starish. Yeah, <laughs> extraordinarily. We've almost broke through. Well, I guess they are on the Star Destroyer. Yeah, you know. So there's a certain sense. aesthetic that you need to keep up at all times. Yeah. I'd really rather not. So I can lead you to the Jedi base. We already know where the Jedi base is. We'll be jumping to Shadow Mayada as soon as we break free from your daughter's fleet. Power flex there. You you wish. <laughs> Just like we already know where it is. <laughs> Names it immediately. Yeah, we don't need you. Go away. I don't want to kill you either. You're literally not worth it. Hmm. Yes, it is. I'm afraid the mobs are rather keen on using it against Tunnel Car. Hmm. You're not as clever as you think you are, Jason. <laughs> I love his fortitude. Just, who do you think you are, kid? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I was afraid you'd say that. And death is certainly an option. <laughs> oh, oh, what is this oh. Uh, thing? <laughs> oh. 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 The sound effect really does it because if you, oh, doing sound design class as well, 
and well, uh, just sounding film the sound and TV. It's probably actually just like bubble wrap, just twisted. <laughs> yeah. But if you take the sound out, it's a pretty neutral shot because he just turns mm. his head not all the way that it'd be cracked. I mean, you get the sound effect, you know it's cracked. <laughs> Uh, it's like my own. We can't afford to take any chances with this. Mm. His body just straightened when he lifted him. <laughs> mm. No, they've actually got they've got really good actors. For like, yeah, they do. I really enjoy the acting in this. Okay. This droid looks like it should actually belong more in the old Republic. It's, an, inter it's an interesting finish on him. I can't work out if this is. Thank you. I forget the character now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that glance, like, what? He killed Isolda? Yep. His legs are hanging down. At least I don't need a stretcher or anything. Yeah. His legs like are dragging him along the ground. <laughs> Good old fetus. Many boffins died to bring us this information. <laughs> <laughs> So, so far, I'm just seeing that they're very spot, well, from vague memory, very spot on with absolutely everything, every detail, you know. The, yeah, you know. I mean, I'd have to read the scene alongside watching it to know exactly, scene by scene, how it looks to faithfulness. But as far as I remember as well, they're very faithful in directly mm. adapting it. Well, everything, every scene, like, like the murder being given the blaster and the, the scratching of the wall and the blast and the blaster, but... Oh, he got angry. And of course you have to have the fire effect when he gets angry to go up. <laughs> oh, he certainly got cranky. Mm. Nice and warm. Please hold on I need a furnace here. Um, it's chilly today. I don't know. Australian version of chilly anyway. <laughs> They won't obey. The Empire causing trouble again with the nano killer. See, wait a minute. It's funny on the. I'm not going to mention it exactly, but it's funny what position that moon is in. Mm. And how it relates <laughs> to a different piece of media. <laughs> he really should have his cybernetic arm. It would have helped him a lot. <laughs> I mean, they've certainly done good with this choreography as well. Yeah, I love this fight scene. It's really cool. <laughs> This would be one of the most iconic jewels of the EU, or well, certainly post Return of the Jedi. Yeah, for sure. As soon as it came out, it just really high popularity as well, with everything building up to it and the suspense. And you know that Jaina had to fight Jace, and it's just going to be how she's going to defeat him. <laughs> Hits him in the back of the head and he just shrugs it off. <laughs> um, yeah, you put your force barrier up, Jaina. Put your force <laughs> <laughs> I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> Sure you are, just like you 
That that line. The line. Just die already. <laughs> it's like, oh man. Uh, yes, right, yeah, so she gets a stomach wound first before he pops a leg injury. Mm. Yeah, I looked at how to edit yeah. lightsabers in as well, and you have to go frame by frame. So it takes a lot of time to do it. 100%. But they've got the jewel down as well, like every description there, you know, the way that Yeah, definitely. Out really so far. Leg injury, the stomach injury. His moment. Doesn't it yet? You're in danger. Take a look. Right. Run. And she's like, I just did that. <laughs> In the end. So they've definitely only taken portions from about uh, two or three chapters there, really, towards the end. But they did good. They actually did really good. Yeah, they must have just picked those because uh, it's the most meaningful moment there, I think. Because. Oh. Hang on. Well, you've got to pick, I mean, you've got to pick a certain, I guess, portion that makes some form of narrative sense. So it's just a very short story yeah. about Jaina, like, infiltrating a phase of brother. That's kind of like the very yeah. short story of it. And so they it couldn't really sense. do the no, whole no. Legacy of the Force series because that would be way too much to yeah. try and do. So I had to pick what moment they were going to do. And so, yeah, I, this is one of the best fan films I've seen, so... Yeah, no, so. definitely. That and that um that anime TIE Fighter one, I've always loved that as well. Yeah, that's really cool. The only thing I'd say for the anime TIE Fighter one is the music doesn't seem to fit as good for me. I no, love the anime. I'm pretty sure from vague memory, it was only one guy that made it, so that was impressive. Yeah, it's a really good job on how it's done. It's just like, yeah, creative choices. <laughs> and so it's awesome. No, I mean, see, the thing that I guess that I really like about this particular one is how close it's stuck to the source material that's stuck with the EU, which is something that other people apparently struggle to do. Um, I don't know quite why that is. Oh, I found another cat. <laughs> uh, I don't quite know why that is. But uh, no names named. No names mentioned. Mm, yeah. It's interesting how fans can do a good job of it. <laughs> yeah. Things that we're told couldn't be done. Yeah, the people that say, well, "Oh, we couldn't possibly stick to it," and blah blah blah, stuck to it here. It's fine. Here's twenty minutes of sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> twenty <laughs> minutes sticking to it, quite well, religiously maybe. and doing very well. well. So eighteen, nineteen minutes of sticking to it. If you don't count the credits, <laughs> yeah. And also, I was, just, I was just actually going to say, we've almost forgotten because we were so engrossed in it. But the opening sequence as well. The opening sequence was yeah, a, a lot of effort just in that alone, even though it was probably collectively 10 seconds. There's a lot yeah. of effort in that opening sequence. I'll pause it there before all this other stuff pops up. Cool. Hey, we're back. Yay, yeah, we're back. Nice. Back in black. Right. I was thinking of back in time, but put back in black to it. I don't know why. <laughs> back, in, back in back in isolation. Yeah, back in isolation. <laughs> Did we ever really leave? <laughs> uh, no, well, probably just to pop out of the shops. That's about it, yeah. Mm. Fun. Yeah, that's about it. Fun and that's games. Fun. Yeah, I really enjoy that fan film. That's great. I enjoyed it, and it definitely shows off so many things we've been told are just basically wrong. Um, you can certainly adapt the books well to screen um, mm. easily, verbatim, word for word, action for action. Yeah. Um, yeah, the casting was fine, and it doesn't. It, it it that was great. I mean, I could only imagine what a full length movie would be like. Oh, your. You tonked out there for a sec, you're frozen, then you scream. Well, I was going to say what's going on. There's definitely something wrong with this um, 
something wrong with my end, which I should probably sort out before we keep going to the next one. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I say. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I think it also That's showcases, it. like, actually thinking of stuff, I want to bring up another point just quickly while we're talking about adapting it. I think if they didn't want to directly adapt it, because, of course, for movies, you would have to make cuts and take out some content and change one or two things for the movie format, possibly. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to leave out some information anyway. Then you could just say, okay, leave it in the books or comics and then just create something but it's in line with the continuity of the EU, of course. There's that too. I don't know. I mean, they've certainly taken books before and made incredible movies out of them. For sure. You know, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. I mean, regardless of what you think of those particular movies, they adapted they the... Success. As well as they could. And they made chops, they made changes, but they adapted it pretty well. Yeah, I miss Ron getting attacked by brains. Yeah. Attacked by brains, wonderful. Yeah. That's yeah. the part I remember from reading Harry Potter that I really missed as a kid well, when I watched the yeah. movie. <laughs> if you've got to remember anything, remember that. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, and there was yeah. also a Death Eater that fell in a jar of Time Turner's Christ on top of his head and he had a baby head with the rest of his body was still in that hole. Yep. I almost thought you were going to say a jar of dirt there. I don't know why. I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> I've got a jar of dirt. Yeah, I don't know why I thought you were going to say that, but anyway. What you Because that's definitely the Caribbean. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. T totally wrong franchise. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. It can be done. Um, yeah, no, I'd, I'd give that a solid, solid full points, full marks for that one. That was good. It's awesome. It, that, it, it relieves my faith in fan films. Yeah. yeah. It's just if they're allowed to go ahead now. It's a fan Revives. <laughs> Revives. Reinvigorates. Reinvigorates. English, my good. I speak it. Are you? A few. <laughs> <laughs> I have lost my total grasp of the English language. It's very embarrassing. Uh, that's just really cool. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this. 100%. Thank you very much. And See you next time. See you next time. Uh, <laughs> yes. yes.